All right, so we're here on day number two up here in Frankenmuth, Michigan. This is such a unique project. I love how this pond, where it's situated in amongst the trees, it's just it's nice shaded area. I think it's going to be perfect for how the customers are going to interact with this. Their kids, their family, they're going to enjoy so much time here. Sitting back and enjoying the low profile streams, the cascading waterfalls, interacting with the fish. They've already got fish inside the house um, in aquariums and they're so anxious to get this pond up and running, transport their fish into their own backyard oasis. So liners in, we're starting to rock it in. What we do is we start away from the wall just a little bit. We backfill with some gravel. So that way all the holes and everything are totally filled in. But what that also does is as that wall comes up, we have gravel behind it. So we don't do an upper shelf. Have a planting place right behind the liner. So that way we can put marginal plants all along this whole pond edge if we wanted to. Uh, Brian's working on a fish cave over there. We'll show you that as it progresses. Derek's working on setting a couple stones here. They've got some plants already. What I like about this stone right here is, give it a name, that's gonna be a butt stone. It could be sitting right here, feet right in the water, just relaxing and enjoying the lifestyle. Our continuation, we're rocking in still. I wanted to give you a sneak peek at our fish cave. So right down in there, the fish can swim in, and then come back around and swim out this side. So what we do, we've got some rocks in the back. And this material here is flow cell. So very strong, it's supported by all the rocks. Here, we've got a rock camouflaging the uh, face of the flow cell and then another one right here just to kind of camouflage it and then all in through here we'll just put some light gravel and then boom done a lot of different ways to make fish caves but fish caves are very important gives the, uh, the fish a little hideout again there's our, our butt rock right here um, we tend to do a lot of platter stones along the edge of a pond but nothing is, you know, it's not a limestone look or anything. It's not milled, it's not cut or anything. We flip around the rocks and see what, uh, see what makes sense. Look, we let the rocks speak to us. Over here, what Derek's done is, since we have a deck right here and, and we've got an opening in the railing, my thought always from initial consultation was, so if we bring the pond over in through this area right in front of here we can step down here we'll have another rock that'll be a little bit lower but it'll be sticking out of water going across and then up onto this one so kind of walk right right across the water so another couple hours this will be rocked in we'll move on to the stream they've given us creative license to take not only these plants but we're going to go up and we're gonna stop at a local nursery that I, I really love. I'll just load the truck with so many unique different types of plants and plants that I feel will work really great for this project. So we'll, we'll be back here on Monday. Um, we're gonna finish the, the pond and the waterfalls up today, so we will have them running. I've got a new truck and it's not stocked. Our maintenance truck went in for vehicle repairs today 
and our maintenance guy Zach had to take Brian's truck. We just discovered we have no foam gun. So I'm gonna make a run to the nearest Home Depot and I'm gonna grab foam gun applicator. Life without problems. Um, we've got our tanks filling up with some fresh clean water. We're gonna pump out all the sediment that's gonna be from the dirty rocks. Let me uh, turn the camera around, show you uh, what we've gotten accomplished so far. So the pond is rocked in right here off the one side of the deck. Um, what we created, I told you, we were gonna do a step down and step across. We've trimmed up the tree, so, cause it used to hang down. So as soon as you came across this one, boom, whack your head on it. We've got a little pocket over here, another small lily pocket over there. I showed you the fish cave already. Brian and Derek are putting in some underlayment for the stream. We're gonna put that liner across and then uh, do the attachment of the liner to the, the bile falls up on top. And then we're gonna just rock this baby in. One of our major dilemmas right now is we're trying to finish this project up. That's it for now. When we're uh, completed with this, we'll do another recap. We'll show you along the way what's going on. If you can hear it in the background, that water's running. So without further ado, let me turn this camera around and there you go. I love how this is just nestled right in between these two big shade trees. We've got a rapid style waterfall right here. Not a deep plunge in here, right above the fish cave. That's only going down about six inches, getting great oxygenation, but it's not plunging way down to the bottom, causing in the springtime really cold water to come up to the surface got a little area here not a deep part so we're not gonna it's not gonna be a sediment trap muck or anything to build up in here put some low-lying plants here maybe a couple taller plants on the side here and here again we've got a little bit of detail left to do here we'll take care of that on monday the vial falls is rocked in we've even got water hyacinth growing up in there we've got some leftover boulders we're going to create a little serpentine retaining wall there that'd be perfect for our plantings Stepping back a little bit. We raised the height of their existing retaining wall. Just throw in a couple extra here. We're gonna rework some of it. It's a shallow stream. It's only a couple inches deep. The birds are gonna love it. They're gonna come in and out, splash around. It's their own personal bird bath. This has gotta be one of my favorite small water features or ponds for a backyard. I can't get over how this is just nestled right in between these trees here. Love it. Love it, love it. Thanks for watching. And let us know what you think in the comments. If you have any comments leave them below if you haven't subscribed to our channel remember it's puts ponds youtube and make it a great day